How's it going everybody? Wolf here with another Pokemon Skull Valley video. In today's video we're going to be continuing on with our seeing which generation is the best at doubles. Today we're going to be moving on to generation 2 which is gold and silver. Probably my favorite generation um, that has ever come out in Pokemon. Uh, Lugia being my favorite Pokemon from the generation. I just, I've always loved Lugia. I loved its design, its art. Um, so yeah. But we've got the three starters like I've been doing for we're like we're gonna do for all the teams. I've got both mascots that you get on the front of the covers for the games, and then we've just got a a third wheel that's just kind of there to be there. But Murkrow is a pretty good staple Pokemon for doubles because of the Tailwind and Taunt and Luckily this team has haze, so we don't have to worry about hopefully running into the same muck situation. That was that was something to deal with. But um <sighs> Out of this generation, though, probably came one of the worst starters in the form of Meganium, so... Ugh, like, I guess they designed it, they just didn't really know what they wanted to do with it, and this is what we have. Now, Typhlosion and Feraligatr are great. I love them both to pieces. They were normally my starter that I picked whenever I would play the game. But, um... So, what I've done with Lugia is I kind of did the same way I did with Mewtwo, is it's mostly this there to support the rest of the team, so it's mostly just there to do AoE chip damage, slow their team, and then Future Sight just to do damage that is just going to come in on someone else's turn. Ho-Oh is there for the burns with Sacred Fire. Um, uh, I think this Ho-Oh is built like a bruiser, so... And then, yeah, everyone else is just built the way they are. I'm hoping with like uh, we could get some combinations with like Tailwind and Typhlosion Eruption. I think that'd be kind of good. Um, maybe Meganium can actually like you know get some knockoffs. Maybe land a Leech Seed so we can get some HP back on someone else. I don't know. We'll see how the team does. I tried my best to make it work together, but um, yeah. But with all that said, let's see how good Gen Two does compared to Gen One in online double battles. All right, we've got our team. Let's see what we're going to be going up against. Now, yeah, like, I do have Lugia and Ho on my team, but they're just not built for, like, you know, the competitive builds. They're built funny. Ooh, a Regigigas. We've not seen one of those yet. Or a Golem. So those will be two new ones that I've never seen, really ever used in doubles. Um, Hactress is a good one. Scizor is a good one. Zorark's a good one, because that'll just, you know, kind of throw us off for a loop. I'm trying to decide like what I want to go for. Um, I don't think they'll be doing any trick room shenanigans, so I should get a nice speed buff uh, with these guys. I might lead. Hmm. I might lead these two, and then we can just filter from there, or I can lead these two, and we can just scout. Maybe get a leech seed on someone just to be annoying. Um, knock off items would be nice too. <sighs> Let's see here. Hmm. I think that's what I'm happy with. We'll just have to see. The golem could be super annoying though with stealth rocks, but we have taunt on our crow, so I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what these people have their belt, their stuff built wise also. I will try my hardest to win, though. That's the new golem, so that's kind of telling me that uh, they want to go for... I do not want Haze. I want to taunt it. I think they want to do Stealth Rock, which I do not want them to do. And we'll do this there. Ooh, okay, so it's the, oh, got me with that one. Got me with that one. Very nice. Okay, a special build on that one. We'll just heal off of that a little bit. That is very interesting. Okay, so now we know what that is, though. Okay, so all we got is that and that. Um, 
Well, we know it's not Golem now, so... We could probably... I don't really want to switch into that. We'll switch into this. And I'll go for a knockoff here. Now that I know who, what it is. <laughs> oh, I guess, yeah, that makes kind of sense. So we'll break the disguise. I don't know what item I was wearing. Rocky helmet. Well, it's no longer wearing a Rocky helmet. They really don't like my poor little Megidium. <laughs> okay, so I think I want to do this here. And I think I'm just going to... I feel like they're going to want to get... They're going to switch out the... Uh... The Scizor versus the Ho-Oh being out. I just don't want to lose my Meganium quite yet. No, they don't switch out. No, I didn't think we'd actually have speed. They are changing their moves up so much. The golem still exists, which is a problem. <laughs> Megidium doing stupid things. Alright, what's coming in? Alright. Well, that's kind of an issue. Yeah, because, like, no matter what move I do, it kind of sucks either way. Um, honestly, I feel like Murko could take this. And I think I'll just do this here. <laughs> we'll just make Quick Claw, huh? That's interesting. We'll do this. So we regenerate, we'll just heal off that HP that we would have lost. He just goes for Air Slash again. Just does not like my Meganium. And we've got double leech seed up now. My Meganium is completely annoying. <laughs> Goes for the Hydro Pump. That still did pretty decent damage though to us. This is too funny to look at right now. Alright, so I think I'm going to set up Tailwind, and I think I'll just go for a Protect here. <laughs> this is too fun. <laughs> Beginning was like, I'll just Leech Seed the entire field, who cares? Another Quick Clop Rock. Okay. Who are you coming into? Actually, going to the Golden this time. So we definitely all speed everything now, except for the quick clop rocks. <laughs> okay, so he's yeah, he was just fixated on going for my Meganium. <laughs> the Scizor is just passively fainting to our Meganium. Okay, so I don't honestly know what he's going for. I feel like I can switch into this thing, and I feel like I can just do this here. <laughs> We're being super annoying. Another Quick Clop Rock, three in a row. My dude, calm down. He's hating them again here right now. Yep, there's another air slash. He might finally get a flinch on me. Yep, he got a flinch on me finally. Goes for the Rock Blast. Gonna do sizable damage to us. Ugh. Didn't like that. I 
Now, if my dude over here could not get a uh, quick lop rock again, that'd be nice. Okay. So let's go for some icy winds. And I think we'll just. Yeah, we'll just set up Leaf Seed again. I swear to gosh, if he gets another quick lop rock. I don't care about it being effective on the scissor. And bloop 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 bloop. <laughs> My Gideon's not going anywhere. Night slash. Ugh. And okay, so we will lose Lugia here. Yeah. It probably has uh the cube on it. Although we might be in a good spot for our Typhlosion, possibly. Ooh, or do we bring in the Feraligator? I think we bring in the Feraligator. Eh, maybe we can bring in Typhlosion. I think we can bring in Typhlosion. Okay. So I think we just do this, and we just do this. This should KO, I believe. Oh yeah, it just KOs both of them. Well, McGinnian was doing... McGinnian has been out there the entire time. And our tailwind just petered out. Did they have anything on their team that really outsped me, though? I know they have Regigigas still. And I think they still have the Zoroark. Now there's Reggie. Well, possibly Reggie. <laughs> I rode him again. Probably wants to go for the Hydro Pump. I think I'm just going to protect turn one, and I think I'm just going to leap seed you. I have no idea how this Regigigas is built. Well, we all speed everything. Okay, you just straight up just go for Roger Pump. And then Regigigas went for Heavy Slam. Which did nothing to us. But it boosted our, our defense, so that's nice too. So at the moment, Meganium is ridiculously good. I'm just going to swap back into you. And I think we're just going to Elite Seed you. Because that's just what McGinney has been really good at doing. And yet again, we land another <laughs> Leech Seed. Oh, you're going to get the Hydro Pump this time. I, you know, I was like, we barely just live that. <laughs> Wait for the Giga Impact. But McGinney is too broken. McGinney is almost back up to full HP. You know my opponent has to be extremely angry. Um, hmm. We'll just go for a tailwind setup. I think I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here. I think the game's like unkillable at this point. It's a pretty decent damage. Knocked off their King's Rock. I go for Terrorblast. 
I did okay damage. Missed yet again. Does uh, Reggie Gigas not have slow start anymore? I'm really surprised they've not left this match yet. Um, foul play. Actually, I want to knock your item off. What item are you holding? That did a lot of damage. Knocked off his covert cloak. Interesting. Oh, you're finally gonna get rid of my bird. All right. Well, they finally KO'd Murkrow. You're gonna finally. Oh, he finally landed it on me. For no damage. I actually will heal all this off with <laughs> these. <laughs> After you say Meganium was the worst starter, Meganium's coming in here like, nah, bruh. The best starter. <laughs> They even had multiple answers from Aginium, which is even funnier. I mean, I don't really have anything else I can do, so I guess I'll just do this, because, you know, this is going to KO both of them. I crit hit the Rotom. Go me. And then last but not least, the Zorark. <laughs> Which we should outspeed with both Pokemon because we have Tailwind up. <laughs> this is too funny of a match. I cannot believe Meganium did this well. Oh no, they have Haxorus. I, I don't know why I thought the... I never Terrid. He might actually KO one of us right here though. Well, not Meganium. Meganium is too broken. I probably should have just stuck with Eruption. It would have done way more than that. Knocked off his Pomog Berry. He just goes for Outrage. That's fair. And Meganium takes it to the chin. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Eruptions. I mean, we're holding Charcoal. Yeah, we might as well stab. I mean, yeah. Hey, Jet 2 getting a, a sizable win with Megidium carrying the lead. So, hey, there we go. We got our first win. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the second match. All right, moving into our second match with Megidium being a complete nuisance in the first one. I don't know how. Okay, there's Mewtwo. There's the Tropagus. Okay, they have a really well-rounded team, which is kind of annoying. I don't see Trick Room. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to think of like how I want to go about this. I could just leave the same thing I did last time. Um, hmm. I just don't know what they're gonna go, which is the issue. I could just start off with like. Uh, I was like, I could start with Lugia, but I really don't want to. They have at least one Pokemon that's going to be immune to Leech Seed, most likely with the Garnacle, I believe. Um, They could be setting up rocks, but I mean, we have Murkrow out there, so it's not so bad. I think Garnacle is like my, honestly, my biggest issue on their team. Uh, I need to decide soon. You know what? We'll leave with Lugia, and we'll just adjust from there. It got completely rocked by Scizor and uh, Golem in the last one. Took two Rock Blasts and a Night Slash, so... We'll see how this goes. Ogre Pond just terrifies me anytime I see it on the opposing team. Plus they have Mewtwo, which is even more annoying. Okay, shall we have... Okay, they have, they're leading both their legendaries, and we're just leading these two legendaries. 
Okay, I don't know what move sets they're going to be going for, so we'll just have to adjust. He's running pressure, which is fine. Let's go ahead and set up our Tailwind, and we'll start off with an Icy Wind just to get some speed lowered. But if we can KO both of these, it might be easy sailing from here, uh, if we can get rid of the big Legendary. Oh, so we still have Ogre Pond to deal with. We missed someone. Oh, okay. We didn't miss anyone, just to lower the damage. So we can drop that, we drop that. Ice Beam. That's rude. And Thunderbolt. Double rude. Alright, so I think what we'll do here... Ice Beam and... Thunderbolt didn't really do much. I can swap into you now. And I think what we can do is I'll do Future Sight here. Come back, Murkrow. My game should be able to take the Thunderbolt pretty well. As long as that's what they go for. <laughs> I first saw an attack. I actually switched up targets. Meganium did not enjoy that. <laughs> they doubled up into that spot. My Meganium! Okay, so I'm going to... We actually probably... Do we outspeed? What's your, your... I want to check stats. Your speed is 100. So you're seeing it 200. So you outspeed both. I kind of want to, you know what, I'll protect turn one and then we'll adjust from there. I'm just going to go ahead and get a uh, future sight set up on this one. Okay, so they, it looks like they're switching targets. Lugia is taking it really well, and then okay, he went to finish off Mamaginium. That's fair. <sighs> hmm. Lugia is hanging in strong. I think I just want to go for a knockoff onto the Mewtwo, and then I think I'll just go for an air cutter. Just for some chip damage. Yeah, that did some good damage. Chesto Berry. I mean, look, he is hanging in strong. Megidium will go down here. Did okay damage. But I think now I can probably switch in my Typhlosion and go for a... They're Both their speeds are lowered, so I imagine I still have speed. We just have to get the KO is what has to happen here. I'll just go for another Eruption. And we will go for... Uh, uh. We'll go for another... Please tell me this KOs. Oh, it just barely lives, but I think Lugia outspeeds, so that should KO it. Alright, cool. That's both le that's two legendaries down on their side. We still have Ogre Pond to deal with though. Now Lugia will get a little bit more HP back from that. Garnacle's really the thing I'm most terrified about. Alright, so there's Ogre Pond. And then this hacked Pokemon. There it is. Okay. Oh, they DC because they're Mewtwo and their Tropagos got KO'd by Typhlosion. I mean, hey, I can't help that. So that's two wins technically for Gen 2, so we're moving on to a third match. So I'll see you guys in the third match.
Alright, moving into our third match. Let's see what we're going up against. Uh, yet again, a pretty interesting team. Um... To be honest... Our, uh... Our Frog Alligator is actually in a pretty good spot outside versus the Suicune. Um, and I've not really gotten used Frogger yet. Okay, so we'll do this. I'll leave a Frogger here and we'll just adjust from there. I've not really gotten to use him and I want to use him. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Now we're about to lose. We're on a win streak at the moment. Gen 2's already passed Gen 1. We destroyed somebody in the first game with, uh, Meginium and then with... Uh, Typhlosion coming in, doing eruption, the second person just quit. <laughs> Interesting. Not really ideal of what I wanted to start against. Um... I'm honestly going to go for Taunt here, and I think I'm actually going to switch you out into uh, this thing. Look at this, so you can already, it's measuring my Murkrow up. Look, you, look, they're even showing it too. Oh, look, those two aren't even staring at each other. Nothing you're trying to do. Oh, he tried to step tail in. Switcheroo. Not the tart apple. <laughs> um. So now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up tail on my side, and I think we'll go for a knockoff on this thing. <laughs> Alright, Citrus Berry gone. Sizable damage. Rock Slide. Not bad damage. Alright, so you're doing Ice Beams. Um... I really don't feel like lowering their stats. Um, dum 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 dum. Look, it doesn't really do much because I I just I he's probably got contrary and I don't feel like messing with his stats. So I guess what I'll do is I'll do a foul play here and I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. I did okay damage. Alright, so I don't think he can do switcheroo if he doesn't hold an item. Okay, there's going for my Murkrow now. Goes for the Psychic. Which we tank pretty darn good. Oh no, you can stay taunted. <laughs> That's what I think. They might switch Sukuna out here, predicting the taunt. <laughs> Getting him so derpy looking. <laughs> hey, almost everything on the field though is uh, Gen 2 though. He actually KOs me from that range. Hmm, interesting. I went for a rock slide.
Okay, so let's think here. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? We can probably bring in Lugia now. I think what we'll do is we'll do future sight here. Actually, you know what? I will just protect. I don't know what I want to do. You know, we'll future sight here. And we will leech seed here. And we got the double seed up. It just depends on if uh, Meganium lives this, this round. It probably doesn't. Ugh. Oh, and the rock slide. Why can't why can't people miss me? That's such BS that people can't ever miss me. Okay, we gotta make something happen there now because now they outspeed us. Um, I think I'm gonna do this. I think I have no choice. I mostly just do not want a, uh... Oh, they probably outspeed us though, that's what's so crappy about it. Ugh. Rock slide's gonna be real crappy to take. I mean, okay, so we KO that, but the Suicune might mess us up in return. We actually outspeed it. Oh, and it just barely lives. Goes for a snarl. Interesting. So we have levers over here, and we'll have leech seed from there. But he is way up on us right now because we've already lost Meganium and Murkrow. And boop. yum. <laughs> Back up to full. All right, what comes in next? Suicune is the biggest threat to my Typhlosion. Pretty pink. So okay, so I imagine Floor just can probably tank our eruption pretty good, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna put a future side on it because I know it's gonna live whatever. I mean that's fine. I expect it to live whatever happens. Terratyping fire. Terratyping electric. <laughs> oh, you're going for a zippity zappy probably on my uh, Lugia, are you? Well, guess what? I'm gonna do eruption first. <laughs> All right, so Suicun is off the board. I still did pretty damn, pretty good damage. Uh. That Pokemon's got crazy special defense. Here, have a future sight. Alright, so we're tied back up now. That's definitely for my Lugia. We should tank that pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we tank that real good. Oh, like, we're, we're, we're tanky belt. They're just lucky that, like, a lot of Pokemon can't learn Toxic anymore in these later generations because then my Lugia would just be pure deuces. Iron Leaves, huh? Well, this doesn't sound good for you. Oh, it's my last eruption, though. Okay, they can't spell it. Look at that Gen 2 getting three wins in a row. Let's go. Oh, that felt good. Well, there we go, guys. There's Gen 2 getting all three wins in a row. Oh, it feels so good when a generation does so good. But Gideon was hilarious the first match. It still did some work in the the third match, too. It knocked off both their items and set up double Leech Seed, too, so that was nice. Um, 
For Alligator, I didn't really get to use much, which kind of sucks. Uh, just there was not really a point where I wanted to switch him in where he was just like, I'm I'm good at this. But um, but hey, we won all three matches, so let's go. Jid 2, pretty, pretty good. And it's like one of my favorite Jids, so I'm happy it did really well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, we'll be going into Gen 3 next. So look forward to that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.